because I feel like if I go through the motions and spend the four or five rounds killing with the bat, they're going to suck more than 20 pips off of my butt anyway. On the other hand, they might try to suck the pips out of the teddy bear, and that just fails. It's all right. When there's one of them, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to bludgeon them to death. With any luck, we'll get a bunch of uh, butterflies. I think they always spawn in like fixed locations, and you can kind of force them to spawn like you can with monsters by scrolling the screen back and forth. But I admit that I've never actually done a lot of that. I should really not use frog here. I can't kill the mobile sprout with a frog. Like this fight... And the frog squash doesn't even hit those UFOs a lot of the time. So I think we're better off doing that. I think we're better off using the bat here. I got a cold. That's like this game's version of poison is a drippy looking nose. See that? That might be the grossest thing in this game. And I remind you, this is a game that came packed with fart stickers. Got over the cold! Woot! Okay, so let's erase this. Hooray! Alright, and... I want that. I want that's my present right there. That's my present. I gotta keep a real close eye on the pips at this point, though. At least I told until I find a. Uh, oh, this will help. This will help a little bit. No one one pip really. One pip is all I get. Sad face. Spinning Robo. It's gonna blow up my teddy bear. It's gonna explode into a pile of fluff. It's gonna be really sad. There it goes. Farewell, teddy bear. You helped me get this far. Taking only minimal damage. Oh, that's what I was gonna check last video, and then I forgot. Was shield. Reduces damage. Okay, cool. And then I think... Seven Red gets a version of the shield that actually blocks pip attacks. Don't I already have a travel charm? Let's equip that. I forget what this does exactly. It doesn't tell me what it does, it just... Help. Ah! Protect from paralysis. That'll be very helpful to have, actually. Okay. And, like I said, I am rocking a map, so I'm going to be consulting my map as I go to make as few unnecessary movements as possible. But it is not an unnecessary movement to get this present. Now, I got no more teddy bears, so I got to be careful now. Okay, three-round fight against the spinning robo, but at least I got him the first hit on the last round, and I'm very close to being out of items here, or being out of pips here. Okay, let's go ahead and eat a hamburger. Get some hips back. There's no reason to not pop this luck capsule, I guess. Luck by win! Okay, so now we get to go down and talk to the man by the broken bridge. Yes, there's a butterfly. Come here, butterfly. Why would someone break the bridge? You know what? That also happens in a Dragon Quest game. Now, if I go up and come back down... The but butterfly comes back. So, yeah, he comes back just like monsters do. Awesome. Is 44 my max pips? Sure is. Okay, good to know. Good to know. See, you can kind of cheese ball your pips if you know where the butterflies spawn. Now I got a croissant. I don't want to fight that tree at all. Or that tree. Oh my god, too many trees. Too many... Mo Ugh! It's too many monsters in general. Okay, hold on, hold on. The problem with this tree is it'll, like, explode and deal incredibly huge amount of damage to me. Ugh. 
So I don't want to fight them at all. If I can help it. We're going to just run away from these trees. Is the idea here. Because if I actually damage it and kill it, it'll burst into flames. And it'll do like 100 damage. It's insanity. Cool. And then the monsters vanish after you, uh... Ooh, a bomb, eh? I kind of want that bomb. But I don't want to give up anything I have. You know what? I'll just eat this last hamburger. Whatever. Okay. This was a useless little plateau. You have like a split second after a monster initiates combat with you to kind of turn around and face it. So you can, uh, avoid the back attacks if you're on the ball. It's actually a little easier to do than you would expect. Because you really don't want to get back attacked if you can at all help it. So, okay. Where do I want to go from here? Up to the north and then left. I might take heavy damage in this fight. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, let's let's do a frog squash here. Man, that causes half damage from PSI attacks too. This fight just did not go my way. I just have to, uh... Guys, I just have to accept the fact that this particular fight did not go my way. So we will be healing up after this fight. Dodged quickly? What a jerk! Stop hitting me with beams! Why couldn't I have smashed you three rounds ago and saved myself all kinds of heartache? Because RNG. Random is fun, guys. Random is super fun. I remember they're... Oh, I don't want to fight that tree. Despawn, please. Despawn. There he goes. Is there another... Yes, there's another butterfly right there. We're going to see that butterfly one more time, I think. Yeah, I want, don't want that tree. Don't want that tree. In fact, there he came back already. I don't want that. You know what? I can fight him and run. I don't need to despawn him. Go ahead and suck all my stats. Those stat losses are temporary anyway, so... I think it's a paralysis thing, that brain shock. I think that'll try to paralyze me, but I got a travel charm. I'm gonna run from this fight, too. Any fight with one of these trees. And it's a good thing I'm not fighting these trees with a teddy bear, because that's a really good way to lose your teddy bear. Really? Holy crap. Smashed by a sprout. Okay, well, you just maxed out his HP, and his HP was already maxed out anyway. Are you going to run at any point today, Kafka? At any point today, are you going to think of running away from this friggin' tree? Finally. It's a good thing that butterfly is going to be coming back, because you're going to need some help. Okay, so what I can do here is... Use the for sale sign. I think I've probably got to unequip this, uh, this here. There he is. I am selling the Mr. Baseball cap that my good friend in the treehouse gave me. Have fun fighting the monsters and exploding trees on your way back out. Hard hat get. Okay. Now, let's hope that that butterfly hoodie spawned. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, did he? Can't really tell. 
Looks like he didn't. Oh, I gotta try to run from this fight, too. Whatever, I should take the sprout out first and then try to run. Or maybe as long as I kill the tree last, it'll be fine. Because in this game, like, the one gameplay mechanic that separates it from other RPGs of its type is that you don't take all the damage at once. You have, like, a little damage roller, and it counts down. There's a lot of monsters down there. And, uh, as long as the roller doesn't hit zero, you're still alive. Okay, despawned them. So, if you have a dangerous monster like those trees, at the end of the, uh... Really, I'm so... I'm s full up on inventory here. Eat, fine, eat the croissant. Cup of life noodles! If you finish the fight before your roller goes all the way down, you actually get to survive the attack, even though it should have killed you. People love to talk about this mechanic like it's a really kind of game-changing, important thing, but it's just another example of the game's RNG. Sometimes it works in your favor, sometimes it doesn't, and there's very little you can do to really influence it. Because chances are, if you're in a fight... Oh, another... Here's a tree. I don't... Oh, I don't have anything to win this fight with. Probably shouldn't bomb the oak. That would be a bad idea. Let's try to run. And did! Woo! Because half the time when you get into a situation where you take mortal damage like that, it's like you're not going to be able to finish the fight quickly enough anyway. Unless it just happens to have to work on the very last round of combat. Like, these trees are designed in such a way for, to make the mechanic important. If you make sure to kill the tree last, it'll do however much da hundreds of damage to you, however much it does. But you're sure to survive because you'll win the fight. Haha, <laughs> easy snakes. We don't need to worry about those guys. Okay. But in the course of just standard gameplay, it's not going to come in too incredibly handy. Let's see, what do I want to buy here? Anything? Yes, there's stuff I want to buy here, actually. Is this the drugstore? It is. I want to buy this. We can sell the T-Ball bag. And we can buy the Sandlot bag. Big, big buff in offense. I love it. Should I hit up the, uh... You know what? I got one life up in me. I think I'll be okay if I do this. I think I'll only need one life up here. Because these crows are not terribly, terribly difficult to kill if I have to fight them. Hey, look, it's seven red. Oh, this car painter guy, I'm going to mess him up. Oh, I can't take the Franklin badge because my inventory is still full. And now there's nothing left to, uh, to stash. Okay, you know what? This broken machine, I wasn't supposed to pick that up yet. I don't want to get rid of anything in my inventory. All this stuff is important. So, what we're going to have to do is call Little Sister. And by the way, how did my little sister get a job at Escargo Express when she's like eight years old? Like, she's supposedly younger than me. But she has a full-time... I guess I have a full-time job, too, but whatever. Okay, so somebody will be along to pick something up from my inventory that I no longer need. Cultists? I don't want to fight them. And this time they didn't spawn. What's up, Escargo Express? Why did you come from that direction? That doesn't make any sense. So we're going to give him this pencil eraser, which we don't need for a while. We're going to give him 
the broken machine, which we can't do anything with for a while. Can I give him the receiver phone? I think that's it. I think I'll keep the rest of this stuff. Four sale signs handy to have on hand, so we're going to keep that. And then we have to pay him to take that stuff off our hands for us, but it's worth it. Worth every dime. What's up, crows? I remember reading an issue of Nintendo Power that had a short feature about games that never came out in America. And at the time, like Final Fantasy V had never came out, and Mother 1, which is the prequel to Earthbound, had never come out in America. And they showed a screenshot of Mother 1, which was an NES game, and it showed a screenshot of an enemy he was fighting, and the, it was a smoking crow, like a crow smoking. And that got... Uh, Censored, obviously, for the SNES version, because you can't have smoking references in Nintendo games back in the 1990s. Oh, do I have to fight these guys? I wasn't remembering that. I didn't remember that at all. Pokey's a jerk. He's a big, fat jerk. Okay, so let's, uh... Work on these cultists first, because that crow I don't think can do much of anything to me. Actually, the cultists can't do much of anything to me, either. I didn't mean to kill that crow. I wanted to kill the cultists. I wouldn't have risked coming out here and talking to Seven Red if I didn't have enough pips for a life up, but I did. I had just enough pips for one more life up. Well, I had enough pips for one more life up and then have one pip left over to just sit and look at because it's... whatever. Alright! Alright! Now I got enough pips for two life ups. And Pokey's a good runner. I'll give him that. How dumb is it that Pokey's the villain of the game? Like, he's the he's the big bad guy, basically. You, he, he antagonizes you for the whole game for no, like, clearly understood reason that I've been able to ascertain. He just does. Whatevs. This is a hotel, yes? No, that's just some dude's house. Oh, no. Wait, this is the hotel. I gotta pay him? That doesn't sound like you're letting me heal here out of the goodness of your heart. It sounds like you're gouging me of all my hard-earned money. Okay, well, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Let's hit the ATM here. Let's see. 28, so I should take 2. I should take 22. That leaves me with 50. I'll use that to stay at the, this, uh... Blue Cowman's house. And then... I won't have to worry about Car Painter killing me. Hooray! Now I'm broke. That's perfectly fine. Alright, down the stairs here. Do I even get the morning paper? No. Worst hotel ever. Okay, but we're in excellent shape. What's my... We need to equip this. Oh, just does just having it work? I think just having it in the inventory works. I don't think I do need to equip it. Are you just wandering around with a saxophone sticking out of your face? That's groovy. That, that's my new favorite guy in the game. Um, I'm gonna go in this big house in the middle. This big church-looking thing. So yeah, goofy, quirky SNES game from the 90s. You have to take down an insane cult. I want to join the cult. No, I don't. I want to take this croissant. Get out of my way. Awesome. Um. Really? Really, dude? You have a paintbrush. I have a sandlot bat. And psychic powers. I'm basically God compared to you. In your silly clansman outfit. 